Welcome back, everyone. Well, did you know that there's a national numismatic or money collection on display with pieces dating back to the 1800s? Our guru in all things coin, Mike Fulgens, and his daughter Kate are joining us. Thank you so much for being here today. Now, where is this huge collection? It's in Washington, D.C. at the Smithsonian mm -hmm. National History Museum. And in a prime location on the first floor, there's the National Numismatic Collection. It's 300 square feet, but because of overwhelming demand and fundraising, it will expand to 1,000 square feet in 2015. Wow. It's really big for our industry. We're really excited mm -hmm. to have the National Collection featured in Washington, D.C. Have you seen it in person? Yes, I've been there, mm -hmm. and it's phenomenal. You've got coins from the starting of our country that were authorized by the first Congress. You've got things that are one of a kind, worth $15 million. You've got all sorts of history, beauty, and art. It's great. Okay, and then have you seen it? Yes, I actually had. Um, I loved it. I worked there at, for an intern last fall, mm -hmm. and it was one of the collections that I was actually genuinely surprised about because, I mean, he's a into coins, but I'm not really involved. So when I saw it, I thought it was great. What was, what was the most interesting piece that you saw there? Well, that's really hard because I, <laughs> not, I don't know coins very well. Mm -hmm. I just thought some of the older coins that were so well preserved that dated, they even have things from the Roman times that aren't on display right now mm -hmm. that I thought were fascinating. Oh, that sounds very cool. Now you said it's growing by how much? Three and a third times. They're growing it from 300 square feet to 1,000 square feet. I was in Baltimore, and the Smithsonian to leading dealers gave us a look, a virtual tour of what the new museum will be, mm -hmm. and it's phenomenal. I would encourage anybody to go there, not just for the National Numismatic Collection, but for the whole experience. Oh, right, yeah, no doubt. The Smithsonian, I mean, everyone's got to experience that at some Absolutely. point in their lives. Now, when is that supposed to be finished, the expansion? 2000, the fall of 2015. Okay, so. So not too long from now. So you can go see it now and then go see it again. Yes. Right. Now you guys also, um, you're, you guys have, have coordinated an exhibit locally as well that's pretty fascinating. Yes. Tell us about that. There's, there's an exhibit at the um, Museum of Southeast Texas that mm -hmm. Kate's involved in of Tiffany Glass. Now that's going to catch a lot of people's attention. Yes, I hope so. The it's, word Tiffany's, yes. anything. <laughs> yes, well, actually, this Tiffany was the son of the man who started Tiffany & Co. Mm -hmm. So it's about his artwork that he eventually created through his own company. Okay, so what kind of pieces are you going to see there? There will be five lamps and one slain glass window. Okay. Now, have you had a chance, a sneak peek? Yes, I've been involved in every single process. I'm the one pretty much coordinating most of everything that's occurring at the museum. What was your favorite piece? Well, I really like the dogwood lamp that's coming up, mm -hmm. um, but it's really hard for me to say I have a favorite piece because I absolutely adore all Tiffany works. Mm -hmm. um, I do think that the wisteria and the peony design that's, that we're showing is they're both very unique and very interesting to look at. Okay, so when can folks go see that exhibit? It begins on April 19th mm -hmm. and it goes through May 18th. Okay, and is there... Isn't there a reception for that? Yes. Um, that's on the April. 25th? Yes. Right? Yeah. From 6 to 8 p.m.? Okay. Free food. Free food? And it's valued at over a million dollars for the six pieces. And the stained glass window is Christ on the road to Emmaus after the resurrection. So it has a wonderful Easter tie-in. Yeah. Wow. That's a lot of money. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's history. And it's a beautiful tie-in between the art museum here we're thankful for and Kate working with them on this project to get the donors to bring in the the pieces so Southeast Texas can experience the work of Lewis Comfort Tiffany mm -hmm. and the women behind the scene yes. who are really featured in her work. <laughs> yes. All right, well, thank you both so much for joining us. Coming up next, a spectacular grand finale performance by the Symphony of Southeast Texas. Chelsea's here with details when Southeast Texas Live returns.